Hello and welcome to week 11. For week 11, you're going to work on putting together the information that you've retrieved from the survey that you did in discussion forum number four. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to break up your primary research analysis into two parts. Part one will be due at the end of this week. Part two will be due a week later. And so what you're going to do is much like the journal articles that you've read, you're going to look at who your participants were, what instrumentation you used, the data collection methodology. And then after uh, you've put that together for the first, this first portion, the second portion is going to analyze that data, talk about your results, your limitations, and your discussion, and you'll add an appendix. Now, Let's just break this up for a second. Remember that you want to follow the seriation for APA format. Seriation means the way that you're going to do any kinds of level one, level two, and level three headings. So what you have here are your level two headings. Those are bold and they're in um, normal font as far as uh, no italics or underline. And then anything that comes under these, so level three headings would be bold and italicized. Your methods are one big group. Methods include participants, instrumentation, data collection, and data analysis. Even though we're breaking that into two, two assignments, you'll end up putting it all together. Um, all right, participants describe who took place, you know, who participated in your study. Instrumentation, describe your survey. Data collection, explain um, when you collected the data. And then that's all that you're going to have due for this first week. We'll talk about this next portion for the next week. But what I've included for you are, let's get back to our week here. What I've included for you are, uh, you know, just a short um, Google slide deck that will walk you through each of these parts. So looking at what it looks like when you're talking about the participants, what it looks like when you're describing your instrumentation, um, what you know how you collected that data and then similarly we'll go through the rest of these slides when we prepare for the the next week um, and then you do have also a primary research analysis so you'll see that participants instrumentation and data collection are are typed up for you in a way that you can mimic you can you can use the information that you have from your own survey to kind of fill in these particular pieces and then don't forget that eventually you will need to include that appendix in the appendix um, you know to the best of your ability I think it's easier if you just screenshot your survey um, but you may find it easy to type it up again but you will just include the the instrument this is the the appendix shows your future readers what you use to get the information that part one is due at the end of the week and that's all you have due this week so if you have any questions as you move through this process don't hesitate to ask and if you move into part two and you start to flush that out that's okay too like i said it's not due until next week but eventually next week you will turn it all in on one document um, because we will use that to bring it together you've got your your um secondary research that literature review was all of what you did for project two and then you're going to integrate this primary research so that ultimately you're creating something that looks a lot like the journal articles that you've been reading but again these are going you know step by step through the, the last weeks of the course again if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask